Hi everyone, my name is Rosie and welcome back to my channel. I mostly have videos about diaper bags and packing them and today I'm doing a little bit of a review on the Lily Jade Elizabeth. Um, I have this bag in the gray color. I don't know if they still make it like this. I haven't really messed with um, their site in a while so I don't know what is most current over there. Um, but I got this a couple of years ago and I have really enjoyed it. And this is probably one of the only Lily Jade bags that I have continuously enjoyed um, for the most part there's like a couple little things but for the most part this is the only one that I have and I this is the one that I currently uh, now I can't promise that I won't get rid of this color for the same reason that I'll get into later in terms of like late iffiness for Lily Jade for me um, however I, I do want to have this style um, I like the Elizabeth a lot, and mostly for me it has to do with all of the pockets on the outside of this bag. I think they're phenomenal, and I think that it's one of those things where you can get so much in it, and it doesn't take up a ton of space, and you don't have like, and by take up a ton of space what I mean is, the bag is going to stay about the same size as it is right now. <laughs> like, you can fill it up, but it's not going to get much, much bigger. And you can still put everything inside it, fill up the inside, and then you can put things on the outside. And it's not going to, like, change an enormous, like, a drastic amount in terms of, like, how much, it, like, its footprint or anything like that. Like, I think it's a really good bag to have if you have to take a lot of stuff, but you don't want to, like, take something enormous. This one can take you can pack a lot of stuff in this and it's not going to feel any bigger than it does right now. <laughs> It'll feel heavier, but it won't feel like larger. Um, I have really enjoyed this. I think that you hear lots of people talking about the quality of the Lily Jade leather and I would totally agree with that. It has, they have wonderful leather. Lily Jade has fantastic leather and that's one of those things that you do hear a lot about, but I personally do not find that their color selection is the best for me and my taste and especially and this is like my biggest complaint and really the only thing that keeps me from even wanting to try their stuff um like the new styles and stuff i can't deal like this the, the inside of this bag i know people love it I, I, and don't get me wrong i'm not saying that you shouldn't if you are a person who loves this color but I don't like I I don't want to have a really loud color on the inside of my bags it's not something that I enjoy now when I first started looking for um, a leather diaper bag I the very first one that I came across was Lily Jade I felt like I could I could deal with the color of the lining because it was important to me that I have a nice leather bag that I could use um, for myself, you know, as a diaper bag. And I I got several. I, ha I had several of their bags. I have gotten rid of the majority of them by now. I think they're, I just have, I have three. Yeah, I have three left. It's this one the, in um, this gray color in the Elizabeth. I have a blush Danielle and then I have a navy Madeline. And, um, and the reason I've kept those ones is because I still like the style a lot, even though the color on the inside is a problem for me. However, with that said, I never use them because the color on the inside is a problem for me. I, I know that that's a very small thing, so obviously that's like a personal choice. I'm not knocking the brand at all for the choice of their color or anything like that. And I really think that it's great that so many people do really like this color. I think it's, it's good like that they like it. But it's just not for me. I just... I get irritated by it and I have found other brands since that have equally nice if not better leathers um, without the loud color on the inside so I prefer those. I'm spending a lot of time talking about the inside of the bag but mostly that's like my main complaint about it is that. Um, I would say that may even be the only complaint I have about this bag. These handles are not the best. Um, in terms of being able to wear it in the winter because the drop length is so small but you know you can wear it in the crook of your arm and I'll tell you I mostly wear this thing in backpack mode anyway and I find this to be very comfortable um, when it's set up as a backpack and you can just use this shoulder strap that it comes with and feed it through these rings 
and it becomes a backpack no problem. That is another thing that I really like about it actually is that you can leave with the bag set up any way that you want and still change it around while you're gone. A lot of bags that have like this separate um, backpack straps are like a different thing. Like you, you'd have to take that with you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if you have Mina Bay, that's a good example. They have separate or they used to, I don't know if they still do or not, but with the Midi Amelia that I have, the backpack straps are separate. There are two of them and you have to hook them all into all the little, the, into their system. And the bag is still comfortable to wear like that. However, you have to take extra straps around with you. And I personally don't, I, I like to take as little as possible with me because I don't want my bag to weigh, you know, 12 to 15 pounds. I have two children. I, I don't need to carry 12 or 15 pounds on my back or on my shoulder in addition to carrying around my kids. It's just not, it's just not for me. <laughs> so, um, but anyway, I've, I, I digress. I, the, the long story short is I think this is a beautiful bag. The leather is great. Hardware is great. I really like the design of it. I really think that there is a lot of thought put into it and it has worn extremely well. I don't think, I think I may have one scuff right here and frankly, it's there because I ran into a brick wall with it um, and there's very little things that you can run into a brick wall with that won't show anything. So I, I think it has done very, very well. Um, my only complaints are the, um, the liner colors and lack of organization, however, that's one of those things where it really depends on your packing style and also whether or not you like to use their in, in th their inserts that they sell or pouch packing or whatever. That, the inside of the bag not having any internal organization is totally a preference thing too. Most of my complaints have everything to do with preference and nothing to do with quality or craftsmanship or any of that other kind of stuff. If you like what you see with a Lily Jade bag, you will not be disappointed in purchasing it. If there are things that you have reservations about, you'll probably still, you'll probably either still have reservations about it after you own it, or they'll become things that kind of irk you about it. But you'll see, and you can see <laughs> exactly what you're getting with um, their bags. So, I, I, you know, you'll kind of have a good idea about what whether or not you're gonna like it um, before you get it. Um, so, that's all I have to say about the Lily Jade Elizabeth. I hope that was helpful. I know there are lots of reviews. I know there's lots of packing videos and there are lots of opinions about Lily Jade already out there. So, you probably didn't even need to hear mine, but that is, uh, that's how I feel about them. And I hope it was helpful and useful to you. Okay, thanks. Bye.